In this portion of the chapter, we're going to learn about medications that are used to treat constipation, or in other words, the laxatives. Interestingly, although we say that laxatives are indicated in the treatment of constipation, they're not what we call the first line treatment for constipation. In other words, they're not the first thing that we should recommend to someone with constipation. Guidelines in most countries are very clear. Normally, the very first thing you recommend is to drink more water and to consume more fiber-rich foods, or to add psyllium to the diet, and then to determine whether a laxative is still warranted. So let's erase our preconceived notions about what constipation is, and when treatment is warranted as we look at the objectives for this chapter, which include to continue developing the habit of learning at least the basics about the disorders for which the medication is indicated before we learn too much about the medication itself. Remember, it's best to know that general information about the anatomy and physiology of the structures involved, and then to look at the pathophysiology or in other words, the disordered physiology, and then to place our medications into the context of all of that. That really helps us apply the information to other scenarios. Another one of our aims of this portion of the chapter includes to identify any potential safety issues associated with the presenting complaint of constipation and to make sure to attempt to determine if those problems exist before we recommend anything at all. For instance, how would you know if a person who is constipated actually has a gastrointestinal tract blockage in which a laxative would actually be contraindicated because the laxative could result in serious harm to the person? We'd also like to be able to understand the indications, contraindications, and side effects of the osmotic laxatives, the stimulant laxatives, and the fecal softeners, 